It's a little boat on a big mission. Here in Halifax Harbor, this team of scientists believe they can make a real contribution in the fight against global warming. Oceanographer Will Burt sure does. Every scientist here on this ship has had a sense of like, now this is why I got into this. This is the real thing. Yeah. I mean, what more motivation does one need, right? Here's the concept. The ocean is the world's largest absorber of carbon dioxide, but it sucked up so much it's now too acidic, and that's a problem. Think harmful algae blooms and bleached out coral reefs. It also means the ocean can't keep up with all the carbon humans continue to pump into the air. So what to do? Give the ocean a giant antacid. That's right, add magnesium hydroxide powder to existing pipes like this one at a Halifax energy plant so it can absorb more greenhouse gases and perhaps even get healthier at the same time. So a giant Rolaid goes into that pipe, pumps it out, makes the ocean less acidic so it can absorb more of the bad carbon and suck it up. More or less, yeah, that's about right. Bert's job is to make sure it works. But he and his colleagues at Planetary Technologies are also determined to make sure it does no harm. A better safe than sorry approach with a range of research being funded by the company. Dalhousie University professor Hugh McIntyre is studying something he's an expert on. Teeny tiny plankton. What we're going to do is add the magnesium hydroxide to them and then we're going to monitor what happens. So far we have not detected any change in the growth rates. And we have been testing 10 times higher concentrations than planetary actually intends to use. With respect, phytoplankton ain't the only thing in the sea. They're not, absolutely not. So we have to start somewhere, and the logical place to start is the base of the food web. To those worried about messing with Mother Nature, Planetary's co-founders say they're just trying to amplify what rainwater and rock erosion have been doing for thousands of years. The natural process that we're trying to replicate is something that happens all day, every day in nature. Not fast enough to save us. <laughs> Not fast enough to save us at all. So we need to crank it up a bit. Before they can trap a gigaton of carbon, that's a billion metric tons, nine zeros, they have to figure out where to get a lot of antacid. In order to remove a gigaton of carbon from the atmosphere, we're going to need gigatons worth of alkalinity. One source, the leftover toxic mind waste from this shuttered asbestos mine in Quebec, which, needless to say, has to be carefully handled. What comes out of the process is essentially this white powder here, okay. which is magnesium hydroxide. Why not just buy it? The way that they're produced today produces more carbon than we would ever take out of the air. The other reason, there's just not enough of it. We've talked to a variety of experts, a couple of whom said a gigaton of carbon reduction is just over-promising, that they don't believe that you can really do it. For me, gigaton ambition is required. We can't look at this problem and say, oh, we're only going to do a little bit, because that's not going to make the kind of difference we need to make in the world. Ultimately, it's going to be up to society as to whether we want to solve the climate crisis and how bad we want to let it get. That's it. I mean, do you believe in your heart of hearts this can solve the carbon problem in the atmosphere? I, I think that we're going to need a whole lot of different things to solve the carbon problem. And frankly, all of the carbon removal in the world is not going to make any difference if we can't reduce our emissions first. So this doesn't get us off the hook? Not at all. Hugh McIntyre agrees. We're going to need every approach that we can find. This one has the potential to be big. Well, Elon Musk Foundation is a believer. It awarded the folks at Planetary Technologies a million-dollar X Prize for climate innovation earlier this year. Now the real work begins, and of course I came back with something for what all of you. you. This is, is from the asbestos mine. They assure me completely. It's not asbestos. You, when you okay. bring asbestos yeah. to yeah. us yeah. around the holidays. But I, you know I love you. I we love yeah. you too. It's totally safe. It feels sort of like baby bee powder, mm -hmm. and this is, this is it. I mean, this... Literally, as That's I... the Rolaid for the ocean? This is it, By the baby. way, that was so brilliant how you simplified it, by yeah. the way. I've yeah. got to say, that, that was real clear. Wow. Well, it's a fascinating concept, and if it works, <laughs> it could really help. As you were saying during the piece, it doesn't solve it, yeah. but it could really make a big difference. I mean, yeah. we still have to cut down our admissions. Yeah, it fixes some of the damage we've already done. It doesn't 
fix what's causing that damage. We yeah. still got to cut back, but listen, it's so great mm -hmm. in this space to have some good news. Yes. Yeah, and some Indeed. innovation. I love yes. to see this innovation. It's so cool. Uh, it's right. fun to hang out with scientists. It really is. Thank you, and Cynthia. Television. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.